Hey guys, if you're looking for the absolute best way to reinforce your car bodies, you can't go wrong with cement board tape and E6000 in one of these big tubes. But this is a kind of time consuming, smelly and messy process. If you wanna skip all of this and just get the easiest way to reinforce your body, we're gonna go with Gorilla Tape and a pair of scissors. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to do this, give you some tips and tricks to make this Gorilla Tape stick as good as it can and last as long as possible. Now our victim for this video is gonna be this beautiful Team Corally Asuga XLR body. This is a buggy body and it should be fairly easy to tape and it's a pretty thin body, so I think reinforcing it's definitely gonna be a great idea. Now to go along with your Gorilla Tape and scissors, you're gonna to wanna to have some rubbing alcohol, a paper towel, and you really wanna have a hairdryer. I'll tell you about why you want this hairdryer later. The very first step you wanna take is to remove anything that's going to be in the way of you taping up the body. That's gonna be these body pins, and in this case, these body hole reinforcements. Okay, now that we've got everything taken out of the body, next thing we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and clean the inside of this so that the tape will stick as good as it possibly can. Get a little bit of alcohol and then just give it a wipe down. Now, if the body's brand new, you really probably don't have to worry about this, but I still do it just because I think it's best to have the best chance possible for the tape to stick. Okay, got that all wiped out. Now, applying the tape is fairly straightforward. Basically what I do is I'll start from the middle and I'll lay a piece of tape down the middle and then I'll work my way out toward the sides. A lot of times what you'll find is that the tape doesn't wanna go around these little compound corners. If you find that to be the case, it's really easy to take this tape, pull some off the roll, and then strip it down the center like this, and you can get thinner pieces of tape. Those thinner pieces of tape really help get you around corners and things like that. All right, let's go ahead and get this taped up. While you're taping, don't worry about getting tape over the edges. You can come back with a pair of scissors and trim that later. As you're laying down the tape, push down with your fingers as you go along and make sure you get that tape down into the little corners and things like that. That'll make it as strong as possible and help it stop from lifting. If you see a point where the tape isn't really gonna lay flat, just cut it off and you can come back and fill those areas in later. All right, got that first piece laid down. Not too difficult. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the rest of this and I'll come back and I'm gonna tell you how you make sure that this tape is gonna stick as long as possible. Then we're gonna go out and test this. All right, got all the tape applied now. Of course, as you can see, this is not a perfect job. If you wanna do a little bit better job than this, I'm sure you can if you take a little bit more time. This is about five minutes worth of effort and it's pretty good. Now I'm gonna trim off the edges here, trim open these holes, and then I'm gonna give you the secret to making this tape stay and last as long as possible. Got the body all together now. As you may have guessed, the secret sauce to make this stick as good as possible and last as long as possible is heat. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hair dryer and put it on low heat and warm a section at a time, then push that adhesive down. It's gonna help the tape conform to all the corners and really get that adhesive stuck to the body. That's all there is to it. Now you don't have to get this thing so hot that you burn yourself or melt the tape or the body or anything like that. Just nice and warm is all you need. I'm gonna finish this up, get this thing stuck on the car and I'll see you outside. We'll see how this holds up. Got a few packs for this now. Before we take a look at how it held up, make sure you get subscribed. We got a lot of really awesome stuff coming up. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Taking a look at the damage to this body, so far it's been very minimal. We've just got a couple of nicks here, 
On the outside, we've got some scratching and stuff like that. I wouldn't expect too much damage to this because it is a buggy body and I've only got a few packs through it. Now, here's a body that I did a while ago. This is from my Kronos XTR and it has actually held up pretty well. You can see some of the tape is starting to peel in various areas. That's going to happen over time. You can also see it starting to blow through the front here. We've got a couple of cracks here. But overall, this has held up pretty well. All right, guys, if you want a quick and easy solution to reinforcing your body, it is hard to go wrong with this Gorilla Tape reinforcement. But if you want the best method for the most protection, make sure you check out this video.